I just built an AI agent for LinkedIn and we can use it to create daily LinkedIn posts on autopilot from any type of source of your choosing. Setup is going to take less than five minutes. Let me show you how easy this can be. Okay, first head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. It's a web app that I'm building live on this channel to simplify the process of building AI agents. So enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna drop you onto the settings page. And from here, you want to connect your LinkedIn account. So click on LinkedIn. Now you can connect either a personal account or a company account. In this video, I'm gonna connect a personal account. We're gonna name it, let's say West Frank LinkedIn, then click the connect button. It takes you to a LinkedIn OAuth screen, enter your email address, and then the LinkedIn account password, then click sign in. It's gonna take you back to this page, and if we were able to grab an access token from your account, you're gonna get this pop-up that says your LinkedIn profile has been connected. So now I click OK, and I see it down in the connections below. Now I can go to the home page. This is where you'll see all of the AI agents that we currently have available. I'm gonna scroll down to LinkedIn posts, click start now. It's gonna take us to the agent builder page, and now I can start showing you which features we have available. The first thing you need to do is to select your LinkedIn connection. So by default, the latest connection that you created is shown, but this is a drop-down box and you can select any of the ones. Next, we're gonna describe our profile. For example, strategic marketing professional with five plus years of experience, helping brands grow through data-driven storytelling and digital innovation. But who are you? What is your LinkedIn profile about? Anything that can help the AI determine what type of content to create. A new feature for this agent is we have a bunch of sources. The source for your AI agent is the information that it's going to grab to create the LinkedIn post. This is how we're gonna keep the content unique and fresh each day. So we have a few options, custom keywords, AI keywords, Google News, AI News, and YouTube videos. Let's go through each of these quickly. So custom keywords. If you have an idea of the type of content that you want to create and you want more control over this AI agent, I suggest custom keywords. For example, you can write business, click the add button. How about e-commerce? Hit the add button. Stock market. How about Facebook ads? In my example, I'm a strategic marketing professional. So let's write marketing, click add. How about email marketing? And what's gonna happen is each day, the AI agent is going to randomly select a keyword paired with your prompt and then write a fresh, unique LinkedIn post. You can add up to 200 keywords, but if you want to give more control over AI, I suggest AI keywords. Now, what AI keywords is going to do is take your profile description. So I recommend being more detailed with this prompt and then generate a list of 200 plus keywords that it's gonna write content about. For me, it's annoying adding a bunch of custom keywords, so I prefer choosing AI keywords. The next option is Google News. Do you like to talk about a specific topic on your LinkedIn profile? This is where this comes in handy. Whenever you write in this search term, let's say ChatGPT, it's gonna search the web each day at your chosen interval, grab the freshest news article around that topic, whatever Google News chooses to show at the top, it's gonna to scrape that article, summarize that article, and then use that in your LinkedIn post. AI News is very similar, but instead of scraping Google News, we're gonna use AI models to search the web for the day and let it choose which article is the best to write content about. Again, we're giving more control over to the AI, letting it choose what we should write about. And the last option is YouTube. Here you want to choose a YouTube channel handle. For example, your AI agent. If I go to YouTube, let's say I search Mr. Beast, I click into his channel, his handle is in the URL. So it's at Mr. Beast. So I would copy this and paste it into this input. Now what this source is going to do is every time at your chosen interval, it's gonna check for latest videos on their channel. And if there is a new video, 
and you haven't wrote a post about this video before, we keep track of all that in the back end. So don't worry, there won't be any duplicates. It's going to grab that video transcript. It's going to scrape that video. It's going to summarize that transcript, combine it with your agent prompt, and then write a fresh, unique LinkedIn post. So lots of options here. If you have any ideas for other sources that are not included, can you please write it in the comments below this video and I will add it immediately. All right, the next option is your prompts. Do you want to use a custom prompt that you write or do you want the AI to write the prompts for you? For example, in a custom prompt, let's say you're using a YouTube video, it would be something like using video, write one native text only LinkedIn post 80 to 150 words that opens with a bold one to two line hook tied to the video, uses short skimmable lines, light emojis are optional, delivers one to three actionable takeaways rooted in an authentic mini story or insight, ends with a thoughtful question that invites meaningful comments, no engagement bait, avoids external links, adds zero to three niche hashtags relevant to the video, and writes in a candid, useful human voice output only the post text, no headings or labels. So I can write whatever I want in this custom prompt, but if I want the AI to write the prompt for me, I'm going to select AI prompts. And in the back end, we have multiple options. These are the top performing viral LinkedIn posts of 2025 and beyond. We have stuff like vulnerable story, failure, pivot advice, contrarian take, myth versus fact, mistakes and fixes, five steps, do this next, micro case studies. If I had to start over, note to my younger self, what it's going to do is randomly select one of those LinkedIn post types paired with your source and it's gonna output a LinkedIn post. So if you wanted to give up total control over to AI for your LinkedIn profile, I would suggest AI keywords, AI prompts, and then write a really good profile description. Next, we have whether to include images in your LinkedIn post. You can click yes or no. If you click yes, it's going to take the LinkedIn post that you created and then output a unique AI image prompt. You can add some more text into this prompt. Let's say you want a specific style, maybe a cartoon, maybe you want it to look more professional. And we're using the latest AI image models. We're using Seadream 4.0 for the image generation so that you get the best quality images with your post. The final options is your posting time. You're going to choose your interval. I recommend once per day. So that's every 24 hours and then select your posting days. You know, some LinkedIn profiles don't post on the weekends. That's Saturday and Sunday. So maybe you want to select all five weekdays for your posts. And then down at the bottom, we have test post. We have start the agent right away. If I click test post, actually, let me do that. Now I'm going to click test post. It's going to generate a test post based on all of your settings. So we can see exactly the type of content that this agent is going to create. And if we like it, we can move on over to start the agent live where it will post directly to our LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to wait a few seconds here. Let's see what it outputs, see if we like it. And here's the result. So the image, very clean and professional, it looks like a funnel. It says awareness, interest, consideration, conversion. And the post is milestone unlocked. My digital marketing funnel just hit 600 new leads and a 12% opt-in rate in two weeks. What worked this sprint? A clear value proposition, a tighter CTA, and a weekly live Q&A. What didn't? Email deliverability issues, cluttered landing page copy, and too many ad variants led to fatigue in several segments and slower warm-ups. What's next? Run three small A to B tests on subject lines and landing pages. Simplify onboarding emails and scale retargeting with lookalike audiences. Aim to cut friction and improve lifetime value. What would you try next? I like it. My LinkedIn bot is ready to go. It's ready to post every day on autopilot. I like the type of content it's creating. So now I'm going to click start agent and get it running on my account. It takes you to the workflows page where you can see all of your active and running AI agents. This workflows page just got a new UI redesign. On the right side here, you can cancel the workflow by clicking the X button. You can delete the workflow by clicking the garbage can icon. You can pause the workflow by clicking the pause icon. If you have any output history for this agent, it will be shown right here. It's still generating the next post, so I won't see this yet. 
And on the far left side, I can edit this agent by clicking this arrow button. It takes me over to that LinkedIn post page where I can edit any of my settings. Here I can see all the keywords that the AI agent chose to use. Lots and lots to choose from. Maybe I wanna change it to a custom prompt. Maybe I wanna make some more tests, but at the end, at any point, I can click save agent and your agent will be automatically updated with all of your changes. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and our first post is created. We see the output history icon is now lit up, so I can click on this. It takes me to the output history page. I see the last post that was created, and if I actually want to see it on LinkedIn, I can click this link. Quickly, the post said, data storytelling isn't about charts, it's about choices. Last week, I turned a 42 slide report into a seven minute narrative for a skeptical ops team. The breakthrough wasn't pretty or visuals. It was a clear arc, a protagonist, late orders, stakes, lost renewals, and a decision resequence picks. Then it says, here's what worked, here's what doesn't, and then a few hashtags to finish it off. If you want to create a LinkedIn AI agent for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. All right, later.